What's going on, people? Anything goes, and we're finally back with another podcast episode. It's been a while. We're not trying to force a podcast anymore. We decided to talk about. We'll talk about it. If not, stick to the music stuff. But um, before we get into this one, make sure you click that subscribe uh, subscribe button down below. Yeah. And um, click the like button. Get involved in the comments. Yeah, man. Let us know, man. It's a. Uh, it's. We're trying to keep everyone uh, entertained to some sort of way, shape, or form. Everyone's entertained now. We're allowed outside. Yeah. But now, by the last time we did this, we wasn't allowed anyway. Yeah, that's true. Couldn't even go apart. Yeah, but obviously, half people are on either side of the fence with that. Isn't it? Not everyone's actually trying to go to a pub or a bar. Some people are just like, nah, nah, there's like nine million people in Shoreditch. What's the point? You know what I mean? It was live. Was it though? It was not nah, No, it, it was, wasn't live. <laughs> wouldn't know. It was live. It was live for after pandemic. It wasn't live for before pandemic. Exactly. Yeah. So um. Yeah, like uh, yeah, everyone's on on their own side of the fence. Everyone's finding their own ways of uh managing. I feel like everyone must feel like they've got bare free time. Everyone's at home. I've had a few people message me and say they were doing catching up on the podcast. <laughs> I was like, oh, is it? So you'll leave your chip when you ain't got <laughs> nothing, nothing to, to do. do. <laughs> I feel like we're more like you can, you could easily just listen to us talk our nonsense while we're doing something else anyway. But yeah, if uh, there's stuff you want to talk about, you want to no, no, yeah. about, yeah, just let us know, man. But, um, this one. Which, which one? This this episode. I'm ready. I wish I wish um, Blair was here, but I'm gonna do Blair's job for him. I'm I'm not going to do Terry's job for him. Cause I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm re- I'm ready to call these women trash. I'm ready. You're ready. You, I'm ready. He, he was that was his I'm narrative ready. the whole time. I'm ready. I'm with team. I'm back. team Blair. So I don't know. Everyone's seen it. There was not the podcast, but I think everyone's seen clips of the podcast that they were on. So there's our. Are we shouting up? Selena Powell. I was going to say. I don't podcast. know. I don't I know what the podcast is. Yeah, no, no jumper podcast. I'll put the link to it if anyone wants to see the whole thing. I had a couple of people ask me if I want to put it on my Insta story. Yeah. Where's the whole podcast? Yeah. Yeah, so. No Jumper Podcast had a girl named Selena Powell on it. She's uh, just an Instagram. Can we clarify? We did not know. Okay, well, I, I didn't, didn't know I who didn't, she was. I didn't, I didn't know who she, she was, was before the before I see the clip. Mm-hmm. Instagram model, I guess. OnlyFans model. Something like this. Yeah. She does all that. All that business. Oh wait, you you did do the whole the whole episode, right? So I watched the whole thing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I, I think I think. I was gonna. I'm not. I watched at least three quarters of it. Her friend was on it as well, but we're gonna leave that. We'll talk about Selena Powell for now. This girl is basically, um, uh, how do you say it nicely? Figurebushing. <laughs> yeah. This is figure figurebushing. She basically um, spends her days and her nights chasing around. Famous guys to have sex with them, and that's it. Like nothing. Like I feel like the way she tried to explain it, her hobby is finding rappers and athletes and stuff like that to have sex with, but not like. But I feel like it's fifty-fifty, isn't it? Do do what you want, yeah. Yeah, no, do, no, no. Do, I'm saying do that. do what you want in in your private time. Do what you want. Be who you want, but to be. On the internet, and No Jumper is a big podcast. Mm-hmm. To be on the internet and be shouting yourself out for the stuff that she's shouting herself out for is nuts, nuts. Because if girls watching that, that are now gonna think that's, that's okay. ratings. That's, that's okay. That's good behavior. That's... And when we say nuts, we mean yeah. nuts. Yeah. And she's first of all, she's not the best looking girl in the world. Second of all, wait. I don't know how. Hold on. Does does it matter what you look like? No, it doesn't. But I'm just saying, she goes on like that 
she introduced herself on the podcast and she said when he was introduced her, she was like, like, like say I'm the prettiest girl in the world when you bring me on but, well no I'm and not and then said I'm married she said okay say I'm the second prettiest girl in the world but um yeah it's all she is oh, just like I don't know how she does it like how the people that she's sleeping with some of them anyway are so famous that why do they need to accept that if they know what she's doing because she ticks certain aesthetic tick boxes yeah, but there's there's bare fish in the sea when you're mm. at that level i guess you don't give a fuck but yeah basically she just there's even like even rappers that you would never you're never gonna hear of like like you know, like in America, they have like local rappers in it that are big in their local area, mm. but they're not like big okay. all over America. And they're just, they're, she's saying names that you'll never hear in your life. <laughs> I did this, I did that. She vi- videos of herself having sex with someone and puts it on OnlyFans. She's still boosting up. I, I really, did, did you see the, the, the story that she was saying that how she started OnlyFans? No. Well, well, she was sitting there explaining that. Um, the reason how she got into OnlyFans is that she see like a screenshot of someone on OnlyFans is um how much they get paid from it. Mm. So she was with her partner and she told her partner to do it. And at the time her partner did it and he made whatever he made. And then like I don't think she was thinking about doing it for herself or her own her own little side hustle. And then she done it and made like triple what he made uh, in a week. What world are we living in where people are making 18k in a week? Making like peas off of OnlyFans when you have the same stuff for free on the internet. Yeah. But yeah, so the so she made that eighteen K whenever whenever it was. Like this is relevantly re- relevantly close to when she started it and her, her mom got a bit sour about it and was like, Now stop this it's like what? Anyway, so yeah, and then you know, it just took off from there. So I think maybe it's the, the, like she's, she's securing her bag and she's doing whatever she wants or whatever she needs to secure her bag. Yeah, like drinking piss. And um, what, but I'm just, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think from, wait, did you hear what I said? Yeah, I'm just trying to think from, no, did you hear what I said? Yeah. She's drinking yeah. urine. With this yes. on OnlyFans. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. and saying, Yeah, I like it, I don't mind. Like she thinks that's rating. Like I said, do what you do in your private life. Do what you gotta do. But to be on a popular podcast saying these things like Yeah, but I feel it's like brag, I, bragging for something you shouldn't be bragging about. But I feel like there's a difference. I, I don't know, maybe it's generations, but like if when you not younger, younger, but when you're just starting in the whole, you know, sexual experience world, and you hear like stories of some mad thing that never necessarily made you think, "Oh, I want to do it," because in your head, your your brain, your brain's going, "Nah, that's mad." And then I don't know even how you accidentally just go into it for reasons. Yeah. How do you find out that's what you like? Um, well, like the baking show is a mess. It was a surprise. But how did, how did anyway? Let, let, someone's someone's got to try it first. Anyway, so yeah, but basically we're talking about women in power. And, and, so if you don't know, you don't she's know, involved you know. with a lot of people. She must have dirt on. She's got greed. Like her story with Tory, she with Tory Lanez. She, has greed. she never said why her and Tory Lanez had problems. She just went into them having problems. Do you think that's because of the, the stuff that's going on now? Though? No, because she and Meg. She, this was, she was talking like this is in the past, what happened with her and Tori Lane. Who? Selena Park. Oh. When she was saying that she, she doesn't say why they had problems, she just said she got jumped, got girls to jump her and that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is it, is it like in the same? He's obviously just bad breed. <laughs> why so are you much... shooting someone in the thing? Wait, wait, listen, I see so much shit about his. His quarantine has been a mess. Oh, she was calling him the leprechaun the whole podcast. It was killing me. <laughs> but, yeah, no, he's obviously bad boot. Could be shooting people in the feet and that. 
if you're arguing. Right, yeah, and then she, she just goes on to say a lot of names, and I don't know, maybe like, people will listen to this and think that I'm wrong for thinking you shouldn't be boasting well, about boasting these about things, it. yeah. And we'll get on to a friend, and that's where I get into the realm of like, you shouldn't be saying these things. Cause yeah, because that's what that statement's really People, about. people might... Take, take, that, take that information. People and, might watch this and think, oh, I want to be like that. And that's not necessarily something that's... It's easy for youngers to see them making get, all this money. Yeah, and, and not think, get context from it. Yeah, and like... And not understand what it means. Like, obviously, everyone's, everyone's capable of doing whatever the hell they want, but not everyone's mentally stable enough to deal with the consequences. Like, she's hitting on there. So like, let's talk about me more saying stuff like that mm. and I don't care I do this I do that I do this I love it I like it all I, I like it I really enjoy it and all that you know for a fact she goes home and when, when she goes home and she's alone she's just crying into a pillow I mean I don't believe that I believe she goes home she's about to get upset and then she puts up her bank balance and thinks <laughs> let me write my tears with this hundred dollar bill money like, money some people, everything yeah but some people some people it is some people it's weird like I think with us, we, we don't look at everything like that, but that's just our mentality. No, it's never going to, we're never going to see eye to she eye. Sounds, she sounds like someone that gets, like, like, fucked and chopped by a lot of rappers and famous people. And she's just trying to twist it and make it out like that's what she wants as well. I think the, that, that's the game, though, isn't it? It's the game. If you make peas, you make peas, but... No, but I don't even mean like that. So, I mean, so imagine you come in the game, or that's her game. Her game is trying to get, get her, she she just wants recognition and she wants, let's just say that's, she wants to be. Worst. All she wants, for, all she wants is clout, no yeah, matter yeah, how yeah. much clout it is. Yeah. Like, she'll, she'll do, but, but she'll, this is what I'm she'll saying. do whatever so the finesse, the, the finesse rapper, was just for clout. Like, like, the finesse was, I'm going to go through 10 of these rappers in, let's say, lower tier. So, you know, when you're only local, that's lower tier. Get higher, that you're whatever. Well, she doesn't, she hasn't, she doesn't progress, she goes up and down, she doesn't care what yeah, oh, stage yeah, yeah. you're at. Well, to be honest, she didn't necessarily state when it happened, so who knows if she's progressing. But I think it's gotten to the point where now it's not as simple as her just chasing the rappers. Certain rappers are like, I responded via DM, so it's like, even though like she's she's thrown the message in the, in the inbox, you still have to find the inbox, you still have to go to her account, you still have to message, you still have to fucking plan it and do that to get me as much as like she heard messaging drake yeah for instance saying she took drake's number off tory lane's phone no. and tried to dm and then he was like oh what's your insta look at and he said hell no and dropped her well done drake <laughs> you want someone with sense but no but you know what one thing that's good is that she says that yeah, because again, she's trying to twist it and make it like, oh, I didn't care anyway. Yeah, but but that's but that's still, she's still saying that. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of fake it till you make it, and they ain't mentioning that part. They they might have just, the, the story might just come out, oh yeah, I'd be, I, I speak to Drake in the DM. Mm. Get me? That could be the only part of the story. Whereas she's actually just saying, that, know, like, man, that's her. Just, it's mad. I feel like, Amer- but American culture is weird to us, though. A lot of that it. can't be right. That can't be right. I don't think it's every girl. I don't even think that's the average girl. I know but... some people think the opposite to me, that the guy who's doing the podcast like encourages her oh, to do all this. To get the bag, isn't it? But he says like him and his girl have threesome for like people all the time. And... Yeah, and then she's like, oh, will she ever put this to me? And she phoned up and she was like, no. <laughs> and then she comes down. But it's mad because like, it just screams like, You've got issues for me. Wait, so do you feel like the main problem is that she's doing this stuff or that she's talking about it? Not even talking about it. She's talking about it in the wrong way. So it is a, so it's the context of her talking about it. Like, she's talking about it and uh, she's boasting it and bragging about it and making it seem like it's given her a good life. And a lot of people will see that and not understand everything that's come with it and try and take the same route, route to yeah. money mm. and that's it's not a good route it's just shallow 
it's, it is shallow, but it's a dark. But I don't want to just leave it as shallow. It's not just shallow. It's like there's lots of rocks, isn't it? There's lots of things about it. But like, no one's saying, like, be careful what you do. You know, about. It's not about what you're doing. It's about how you're carrying yourself about what you're it's doing. Just, it's the, it's the, like, it's minus 100% self respect. You there's not one she's never had any self respect and it's a bad thing to boast about. You know what? No be said. I wanna not like drink my women or just knock it off one time. I was gonna say I would like to hear how a woman sings it. You see how we summarise it and how we see it, it's 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 very uh, so let's move on to the friend then. And uh, would you think women will think of what the brethren? Well, well, the bedroom, first of all, one of us for is throwing three songs under the bus. I mean, like, is he, is he under the bus? I feel like the way that that story sounded. But he has, he's got a, he's got a full life now. Like, yeah. he's got his family set up and everything. And she's talking about how he used to like, he was beating her and made her sit in the bath and then pissed on her. Yeah, but again, I feel like in in American culture, the girls are into him. Have heard they've heard the story. Like she was going on like like okay, both of them were going on like they're not the only people that said it. There's other actresses and there's other people that's in the the entertainment industry that say stuff about him. So like, I'm not even talking about that story alone because that, yeah, that but let's that say like met. let's say his own wife doesn't know that he likes that. Imagine you're like imagine you're the girl here. Hey, hey, there's a possibility it can happen. It's like, called what do they call it? We a skeleton. All, we all know. Do they yeah, call it a we, skeleton. We all know that there's some things you've done with people that you haven't done with your girl and stuff like that. Listen, if, if man's got a bone when factory two, in his when, bedroom, when, leave him alone. When two people come together, it's different to how other people do. If your wife finds out that you're doing stuff like that with people that you haven't done with her, it's a problem. Because. They will go straight to why have even if she doesn't like that, why haven't you even asked me to do that? Why can you do that with her and not me? It's a problem. You can't throw people under the bus like that. And that's one thing. That's the, only one aspect. The main her main story. I mean the virgin. Mm. For anyone that hasn't seen it. She's in a hotel room getting dug out by a basketball team's coach, I think she said, or someone involved with a team. The basketball team come in, seven man deep. They say, yeah, let's party. Um, what happened next? Satisfactory. L- lineups? Satisfactory. Yeah, she basically... She uh, she she was give the, she was entered into a hot dog eating contest and won. <laughs> yeah, seven men. Uh-huh. She said, she said they they just sat on the bed and they rotated, and he was like, "Well, what did you do with it?" She's like, "Swallowed the lot, the whole lot." He then said, "Did it? Did it have a bad reaction in your stomach?" Every time I think about that question. Like so Coke and... Yeah, like, yeah, like Mentos and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> but but then she was like, no. Like, she was like, yeah, it was it was lit. Like, it was a good night. I'm like, first of all, what are you, what are you doing with your boys? Because if I'm with six of my boys, I'm not even in the room whether I'm getting head or one of them is getting head. I'm not in that room, let alone all of us sitting in there, rotating, taking turns. Who's last? I, I wish I could say. Who's I, I wish I could if, say. If we're in there, yeah, with. Imagine there's no, me, you. Don't say. Don't, me, no, you, don't even say names, bro. Shut me, up. you, and five of our of our boys. Who's going last? <laughs> Who's going last? How do you get like? Yeah, it blows. I know we're not on the same level as these guys. So when you're on that level where you're beating girls every couple of days, it gets to the point where you have to be go for like Trey songs. Like, 
he didn't start pissing on people, he just had sex so much he has to find new things to get himself going. But I can't ever see like myself sitting in a room with six of my boys. What and that's cracking. No. And just sitting there, not even like who's sitting there waiting their turn? I mean, what's what's worse about the whole situation is when when they walked in She's already. Active. She's already getting beat. She's already active. So their coach stopped beating her, so that they could all take turns getting nosh. I hope they. I hope he didn't think. <laughs> but they all. No, 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 no. They did. <laughs> I hope he didn't. I can't even. I really I can't, can't, uh, no, because he interrupt. They interrupted him. So I hope he didn't finish. If he finished afterwards, I will. That is the worst part of that story. If he finished afterwards. Forget what happened. You cannot finish. You cannot start before seven man and then finish after. Because even the guy that goes last goes, but I finished before you. That's that's wrong. What I was saying before. I mm-hmm. can't this I can't even picture this situation in my head. Where you getting this? But for them to be sitting on their boast in that story, it was lit. Blah blah. You know what I think like, it's more funny. It's no, never it's never the, it's it, never the guys. Like, imagine, like, like imagine, guys, imagine, guys wait, guys wait like three, four imagine, years before this story comes ima- out. Imagine both them, them girls, Selena Powell and her friend, now have daughters, and they have to watch that video. They're now role models to their own children, let alone everyone that is going to watch that podcast. Their own daughters watch that now. Do they want them to be like that? It's a thing, isn't it? What do they call it? I mean, is that what intellectual do as I say, not as I do? Definitely. I forgot what it's called, but yeah, I've heard that shit a lot. And yeah, I'm not listening to this because it's just. Women are trash, man. <laughs> this whole, everything's just been a build up for you to just finalise it with women are trash. Guys don't do this stuff. Black men don't cheat. Tell me, find me a guy. That has give lineups to seven girls and let and let and let them. I won't say that. Please. No, just find me a guy that's done lineups for sort of seven girls. I'll show you a liar. Do you know what's joke? There should be girls out there, but I cannot remember. When it who was um, I tell you who said it after, but someone was in my DMs and I put it on my Insta, and they was like, "Bro, if you think girls ain't doing that in the end." Like your jokes. What someone said that ended. <laughs> someone messaged me and said, "Did you think girls in the end they're doing this?" Yeah. Huh? I said I must know it. Is. Um. Well, well, that's not what the point is. The point is the girls, girls that are doing it in the end ain't coming Wait, but what, out. What if? No, they're not coming out and talking about it next week. But what if you meet a girl? No, forget this. No, because you're just gonna you wind wind me up. Stop. What if you meet a girl here? <laughs> And you, you get you, like, you get uh, married, and then you see this YouTube episode. <laughs> Can you imagine, like one day, like one of them's gonna get a man. They just have to find a man that's twisted up in the head like they are. Well, it's like porn stars that have husbands and wives. Kanye married Kim, didn't it? And they both fucked up, didn't they? Yeah, Kanye's a different story. I can't even prepare for. It's not, man. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Why? Because that doesn't. Maybe I just can't, like, because I can't. Fathom. <laughs> fathom. How uh, you get in these situations and then you think it's a boasting point. Like you scored a hat trick. <laughs> there isn't even a, a term for seven. It's not a okay. girl. <laughs> oh, I just don't understand. I don't understand what is wrong with you girls. All of you. I wish I could say that like, this behavior isn't acceptable and stuff, but if you if you do what you're, you're doing and no one knows, it's, it's, it's no different. How much do you have to do to get in that situation and go through with it? Well, as a girl. On the with, with the man then? What, me personally? Yeah. You and six other guys. What, with one girl? Yeah. How much do you have to do? 
could never do it. <laughs> could it? Have you said on it? You know what? I'm picturing our friend group. <laughs> you might be all fucking idiots. You can take it. You can take yeah, another. Both, both, you can both just, groups, idiots. You can take another five from e- anywhere. You can mix and match if you want, and anyone in their <laughs> friend groups. I can't. <laughs> I can't even sit in the same room if they, if someone's just lips in someone, let alone doing all that. It's nuts, man. Can you imagine that? And this is the these are the stories they want to tell. But I feel like like it's jokes. Like guys sit there and they talk about stories, but stories are never like this for one. For two, like guys talk about stuff that's happened years ago in a sense. Mm-hmm. And there's usually reason for that. Yeah, you but don't them, need to disclose, but still. Them two are hacks. Yeah. Like, like this has a like, like the last race they, they went to. It's nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. And I will say from one in the group chat, someone had a point of view that they just said they're just sexually liberated. And because uh, yeah. I, I, I basically said, have you man seen the Skettle Wombs? For anyone that doesn't know what a ghetto boom is, but basically it's a hot doggy in a contestants that win all the time. A schlag, basically. And um, he said, "No, they're not that. They're sexually liberated." I just had to shut him down. No one, no, no one. Because uh, uh, what makes what makes one of those? What makes you sexually liberated? No, what makes you a ghetto? Oh. And he said, "If you like." lie about it basically what's the gist of it if there's a lie involved um and i said like what about if you doing it to gain money like a prostitute and he says yeah what he said that that makes you a ghetto woman but he said that they're sexually liberated yeah my head hurts so i said so what about if it's to gain anything then what if you're trying to gain Followers, exposure. clout, yeah. exposure, which they are gaining all of the above. Yeah. And he said, okay, yeah, fair point. <laughs> and that's that it. Is, and, he, that, and, he did, that, and he didn't justify anything else. No. It's not sexual liberation, man. It's just, it's just dirt. But again, I think a lot of this is to do with America. You just think it's America. I think, I think American culture is, is, like, you see how things are in the end all the time. Obviously, it, everything changes, but, like, like, two weeks ago, something happened and she was a slag. But two weeks later, her brother done something that's ten times worse, and now she's the only slag in the end. And that one, she's not, she's like a level one. And now this one's level ten. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, everything always changes. It's very volatile, yeah? But, like, I feel like in America... Like, whatever we class as level 10 is their level 1. And so mm. on and so forth. Mm. And I feel like... I know someone... I, think, I feel like this I know, is, they're a bit more accepting. I know someone's going to say, oh, but if when it's guys, you want to spud them, and when it's girls, you want to say they should But there can't be a it. situation where guys... But you know what? I, sl- I slightly think that girls are just a lot worse. Why? Than guys. I just think there's a lot... Of, there's, potential for girl stories to be a lot worse than a guy because all guys can do is the same thing is beat a girl no but if a guy if 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 you, if we had a story about a guy that seven girls ran to or seven girls kissed on or whatever like you know you already know like when you can get caught on stairs and you're <laughs> and you're on funny business around christmas time man hasn't let that go that's one woman and it wasn't that that situation wasn't about. Yeah, but that's wild. What was wild? Dominic Soler. Yeah, but no, but I'm I'm saying that you're saying that's wild. This is one 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 woman. Yeah, but that's on public stairs with people walking past. And what? There's not. And this is behind closed doors with a private group of people. Yeah, I don't know, man. What you you actually comparing the two narratives? No, that's what I'm saying. You can't compare it. But this is what I'm saying. Like, that's as close as it gets. The Dominic Soler thing is as close as it gets to say, like, no, you're moving. That's why level 10, level 7 and a half to us is level 1 to these lot. Fucking trash. It's just trash. Any excuse to call him trash. But yeah, um, 
No, I'm like I, I want to hear a woman's opinion that isn't just socially. I don't want to just do something that's political. Uh, that all women are. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear someone that's been at shit and that's real. I, I honestly think that maybe people can in the comments let us know. I think I think ninety percent of women would think it's disgusting. I was about to say you did not finish that thing. No, I think they I think they would think it was disgusting. I think I think there's some that would be like let her do what she wants to do, blah blah blah. Which I agree with. Let her do what she wants to do. It's just don't boast. Man can, man can have an opinion. If you're gonna boast about it, man can have an opinion. That's, it's that's all the it's all the kissing and telling as well and all that. It's like, but then it's like, to me, I see it as like this, and you see, like, because women can have fantasies and it's more than one hot dog. Yeah. That's like, if you go through one column, like, you've got the traditional, now. Nah, I'm fine with one hot dog. Then you've got the women that they fantasize about more than one hot dog. If you show the bars that column, you're, you're already, that's, that's seven hot dogs deep. Yeah. Okay. Like why is two why is two the limit? If you're gonna sit there and say you want two, why is two the limit? Has to be. Why? There's only so many places they can go. It's free. <laughs> yeah. Seven. But, but people never say, ah, oh, I want three. They always say they want two. So that, it's either okay. that's a lie. Why are, why are men queuing up like you're <laughs> a cash point? Because <laughs> like, there's a hot dog eating on there. These men are waiting to to deposit their piece at the at the bank and it's social distancing. You got a long queue in a hotel room just to, to put your peas in your account. That's not normal, is it? Whatever no analogy you want no, it's a, it's a, whatever analogy you want to use. My point is there isn't just one place to put it, let's put it standardly. And women always talk about their fantasies of one or two hot. So what I'm saying is they're either lying about how much they really want, or they're just keeping it to what society deems as, oh, you're just a bit wild. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, the moment the moment the woman that you think you want to marry or whatever says to you, oh, I've never tried having a foursome with three guys. That's, that's, when you, that's <laughs> over. That's over. What? That's over. But it's that's over. Says, I've I've left someone before when they told me they had a threesome with two guys. I left her there. I got in my car and I went yard. I never spoke to her again. What are you talking about? It's like that's why vi- that's violation. Uh, what's that thing? Can't, can't be no 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 never. I can never be with someone. Man, I'm getting treated man, like a dark man, book. Man. No way. No way. No one. No guy will. No guy will. It's a very special case, like I said, porn stars and stuff like that that get that have girlfriends and boyfriends and husbands and wives. What you think is it? What you think men? I think some men are just like they don't accept that shit. Sure. How? You will never understand it, and neither will I. But I'm saying this: it's not like you've never heard of men that wife to the the local hot dog factory. No, I certain my my girl told me. That's, that's all I would be able to picture. What hot dog? Yeah, it's just... Brock, Brock, Brock. Hmm? Brock, Brock. I don't know why you're saying it like that. Because <laughs> I can't remember how to pronounce it. Just German, yeah. just German sausage. Yeah, no, that's all I could picture. I started this down out after that. Don't come round here. Um, I'm... I'd rather not think about that at all because realistically, am I gonna as I said to you, my mind works like that. Like you see the whole talking about, you know, fantasies and things like that. My mind doesn't just stop at you want to, because I know you know the three places it can go. Why are you telling if you're only telling me two because you think society makes this okay, I don't want that. So I'm already backing out because of that. That part alone is enough for me. You know what I'm saying? Whereas if she opened up a bit of could really be free. I'm like, fuck. You gotta sit there and question it. Don't need free. You don't need more than one. <laughs> yeah. But some people want that. They want to try it at least to you know why they don't want it. You can't play PlayStation more than one pad. 
<laughs> what are you saying? It's a one player game. Yeah. A single player. That's it. <laughs> Anytime you get more than one, you go straight to the hospital. Reset with some less money. Yeah, kind of like a GTA. Um, I, I, waste I guess I'm I'm kind of hypocritical in some ways because I'm saying they shouldn't be on there boasting about it, but I loved it. The podcast, I was just sitting there busting up just because the people that they were thrown under the bus. Yeah, it's, nice it's nice to see like the people up high fall. Yeah, like, I feel like now that I think about it. Then she said, Wait. She's like, oh, tell the story about you and the basketball team. And she's like, um, and she's like, she's shy. <laughs> she's shy. She's so shy. You're so cute. And it's like, yeah, I gave line up to seven men. You just said she was shy. She just even even the buddy from the the podcast was like, what part of that is shy? <laughs> like, like you 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 just admitted to being part of that. She's like, yeah, it's lit. But yeah, overall, um, no, do what you want, but be, be aware, like, the moment you open your mouth about your opinions, you'll be nervous, and... Not even that, man. Do what you want, but be ready for what comes after. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Opinions will be mixed. That's yeah. the, the least of what can happen from those situations is someone will say something about it. That's the least. Then you've got, you know, you get the you get the church who will just drown you in holy water, you know, until you come back out a different colour or something. But like everyone has their own way of dealing with things. But you can't you can promote this stuff but at least understand that. Understand what you're you, doing. You can't, you can't that are control watching. yeah, you can't control who's who's gonna be exposed to it. So any way, shape or form. You never know how this is going to affect your future. Yeah, if you're telling people, I'm chasing rappers around the country, and just and then they'll say like, oh, I'm and I'm making all this money. That that's all some people hear. If I do this, I get yeah, because obviously it's like it's like the, the people that aren't focusing on everything it's he's saying are highlighting the stuff like money and rappers. To, to a lot of women that ain't doing nothing. Maybe I'm gonna start chasing female rappers around. Yeah. Why not? What female rappers? Uh, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. Yeah. Let's at least be uh, realistic. Two Foot Meg. Who? Two Foot Meg. Who's that? Meg and Nicki. I see someone comment why. Why is she rolling rolling around with that nigga? Is she tall? Or are you just talking no, about no, two foot she's, No, I'm talking about two foot because she looks better than feet. So she's not actually... No, she's a giant. I was going to say, I'm sure she's actually tall, though. Oh, she's a giant standing next to him anyway, because Tory Lanez is... 5'1"? Apparently, he's fat. I, I, can't, I, don't, I heard he's 5'3". And then someone that was at his conference said he, he jumped into the crowd and, and they couldn't see him. They couldn't find him, got lost. But we know yeah. someone like that. Yeah. We know someone like that. Must be a hard life down there. Yeah. Hmm? What's it like? What? Being that shit. Uh, I'll, I'll message him and I'll ask him. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fuck. <laughs> You're a fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even defend him, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um. Would you, so if it was the other way around and a guy was saying that that's what he did with seven women in the England football team, what the fuck? Oh, I've been out with them. No. They won. Shut up. What? How, how do you think you'd react? They all go the other way. Oh, they all like the other women in the England They all drive on the, on the right side of the road. Anyway, how would you react to it? If they, they came out and they were talking about it like that. I wouldn't. Well, you wouldn't react. You wouldn't even have nothing to say. I would have something to say. I what? Ew. Obviously, because mm. of what they look like, but still, ew. It just is, it's girls, man, isn't it? Girls, 
some people separate can like put men and women in the same bracket. I can't. It's separate to me. If you're so what what do you think is and isn't acceptable in, in that nature? I don't know, I just when it comes to women, I just think you're No, because for instance, yeah, you see how like let's go with the Dominic Celeste situation. Man is cancelled. And I don't say that as in you cancelled him personally, but if man does those actions and they're moving like that to you only because he was in public though. But, but but I'm saying this. Still, I'm not talking about the action. The action isn't the main point. The context is the fact that he was doing that where he was doing it. Mm. That's the wild part. So what I'm saying is, do you? How do you? What what effectively could you hear? Is that on par with it? Not. <laughs> no. But a part of me feels like you think Dominic Sinner's thing was worse. More than them? Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> no way. You can't do that stuff in public, man. There's, you don't know who's going to walk past. You can't be doing that stuff. No, but I'm saying, I think but, you think that the Dominic Soler situation was, was the worst situation than what they go with. No, because they're, what they're doing, they're doing it in private, but it's crazy. Yeah, on it. Nice lit. Like, to be, like, the level of self-respect is just, it's out the window. Level of what? The self-respect that they've got for themselves. They 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 burn it. Say it again. Out the window. No, no, no. The word. Oh, self-respect. That's what I'm saying. For them, this guy's just wave doing something he's gonna do in private, and he's doing it in the wrong place. Like it's still bad. You shouldn't be doing it there. You deserve all the shit that you got for it. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Yet. I feel like the sound is not that that could have easily happened to. And I uh, hope you know who I'm, who I'm thinking about. No comment. That could have easily have happened to them. And I still think it could. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know, man. That whole, that, that, that shit just went viral because of the UK government. I think it's gone mad everywhere, though. It's only gone mad everywhere because of how bad the UK made it. But obviously, if the if the US do stuff that's trending to that degree, like it was when it happened, they're going to be like, what the fuck? I don't know, I guess we're going to see what comes of that podcast, because I can't see it just going out and nothing's going to come of it. I feel like someone's... One of the... I feel like an artist is going to be on there too, some, explaining some, something. Someone is holding corn somewhere down the line. Oh boy, these days rappers be out in shooting positions. Because, yeah, she was even saying that rap- rappers were threatening her all the time and that, isn't it? Yeah, she said. I find it funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, I said that. When she went on to the point where she was with some guy and his op turned up. What? She, she, she was like, I was with someone, I was on a date, I didn't really want to be there, and his op turned up. And they were guns, and she was whispering to him like, "Yo, shoot, shoot." She was like, "I like it. I like, I like, I yeah, she like a shoot." She knows I she's like a like, shoot. Shoot them, shoot them. Mm-hmm. I was like, "This." She's boasted again about something. You know how mad that is. Hence why I'm saying that that shit is just American folk. You're telling a man to shoot someone because mm-hmm. it gets you excited. Mm-hmm. She didn't want to be on the date until they started having beef, and there was guns being shown. Mm-hmm. And then she's telling a man she barely knows to shoot someone. Mm-hmm. Like what? What happened when you were growing up? What? Where? But again, when, I, where that did no, your head well, get you twisted? don't you don't agree? That's American culture. They've not been getting exposed to guns and shit. That's just normal. And it's not like you haven't been exposed to guns and it ain't illegal here. So there. This is where women are trash, though. Is that your what? What in some women's head do they lack about a guy that? fights all the time or a guy that's got a gun or because it happens here we might not have guns but get women hold on i was going to say women you, women are you, like, are you going to go like women, 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 enc- like women will encourage their man to get yeah. into a fight yeah. because they enjoy it yeah. that man you're getting punched up with you. <sighs> it's just it's trash it's everything's trash everything it's not even just people everything's trash if there wasn't women, we'd be happy. 
Do you think anything worse is going to come out of this? That's what, I, that's what I was getting to. Like, I'm, I want to know what's going to come of this now. No, I don't just mean a reaction based off of what she's saying. I'm saying that obviously the reason why we're, that sparked this conversation again is because of what's happened. I'm saying, do you think something else is going to top this? I don't think this is going to be top. Or the Bridgerton story, anyway. That's like, I'm surprised we don't know. No, she's done all the topping. But yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this could be cheating. It's not, you, you, it can be cheating. I, I don't think it will be. And not be this exposed. No, it won't be. It won't be exposed, but it, it can be real. These are the stories they're willing to tell. Imagine the stories they're yeah, not. not yeah. And imagine they're like level one. But, well, imagine what, they're level one and then there's someone yeah, at every level ten. Out there, yeah. Well, I was thinking, I was thinking more about like, these lot, these lot are very lucky that these kings are the, the way that these kings are because I feel like if that shit happened in the UK, the moment they leave the hotel room, they're, that, they're, if, on, they're on route to the sun. If, that, if they was in the UK, them girls could never leave their house again. Their house? I think, I, I thought, I'm saying their narrative would be different and they're on route to the sun. Uh, they're, they're just, not ever again, but like them girls, they couldn't leave their house for a bit. Just because, like, people don't play that shit here. Yeah, but no, but, but I'm saying the narrative would have been totally different. I'm saying it, I don't, it's not that I don't think girls are doing that here. I think if girls are doing that with whole teams, bro, they someone's paying them. They're getting paid. There's no way that that shit's happening. They have a hidden and they're not using that. Not just a of fucking this time, this is shit. <laughs> Can you be getting line up on a Friday night? <laughs> and then they get the early game the next day. Yeah. Maybe that's how Liverpool won. Maybe the secret ingredient. <laughs> but yeah, listen, guys, let us know what you think. It's, I feel a bit mad. It's, it is wild. I, I was gonna, I was gonna bust so like many more jokes. So I, I was thinking about doing this episode, but there, there is actually wild. Mm-hmm. And like, it's, it's, it's disturbing. Like, I, it makes, I can go it, that It makes far. me think about my wildest stories, but I know. And it's not anymore. I don't feel like your world is still. I don't feel like it was that one. It wasn't. That was just their their Tuesday. What? Their Tuesday. That was just that was just their primary school life. Breakfast. <laughs> That's all it was. <laughs> Tuesday morning breakfast. Oh, yeah. Let us know like, what you think of the whole situation. Again, I'll leave the link to the podcast in the description for anyone that. Yeah, like, hasn't seen there's, it. There's, like obviously we 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 didn't cover everything that happened in that interview. The interview is a bit mad. If you don't know who she is, if you do know who she is, there might be stuff on it that you didn't realize. But like, um, yeah, like let, let let us know if you agree. Like this this is just comes across like American culture moving mad as usual. Agree or disagree? And I wanna I wanna hear. Or I wanna I want someone to tell me why I'm wrong. What about what women being trash? Yeah. The comments are there to be used. The same as the subscribe button. Takes two seconds. So click it. Helps us out a lot. Same as the like button. The more likes, the more comments we get, the more YouTube pushes the video out to people. So two seconds of your life. Helps. Yeah, so click that. You know, we want we want more shit to actually talk about um, right now. Boy, that shit was everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you could have missed that shit. There's people that don't even have fucking Twitter that know about it. But then again, mm-hmm. everyone. Other than that, guys, more music stuff coming. Yeah. More reactions, more does this thing. Stay safe. Make sure you're social distancing. No one taking part in a hot dog eating contest. Please. Uh, if you are, use your mask. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I'm done. I ain't drinking Hennessy no more. That depends what I'm on.
Yeah, I light a light, I light I'm on it right now. Looking for a bad bitch that's trying to bite down. Read them off. Anything goes, you know. This where anything goes, you know.